Hey guys, it's Nate, and today I we are going to be doing the second episode of Pokemon Tier List. Um, just so you know, the series will not all be Pokemon Tier List. Just this one, the last one is. Um, since it has been so long I've uploaded, there is two cool releases that have come out since, two cool games that have come out since last time I uploaded, and I do want to give a quick update on those first. First of all is um, Crown Tundra for Pokemon Sword and Shield DLC. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's a lot better than um, than um, the first one. I forgot what it was called. But, um, yeah. The one where you get Urshifu. Um, the Isle of Armor. There we go. I, I, I took forever to remember it because I really wanted to remember it. Um, but the second one is Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Um, I really like the game. I'm still playing through it. I'm only like halfway through it right now. I'm recording this on Tuesday, so I'll probably be done with it by like Friday or Saturday or something. But yeah, really fun game. Um, it's the first warrior type game I've ever played, so, and it's pretty cool. So yeah, but with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first tier list I did was the starters, um, was a starter tier list with all the forms in them. Now you might be asking, Gaming, didn't you do a starter tier list last time? That is true, but that's completely true, but that was the only first form starters. These are all the starters. So yeah, from now on I'll be skipping past most of the starter tier list. Unless I think it's really interesting or something, but, yeah, um, so, um, looking at it real quick, we have, um, Chestnut, um, Torterra, and Grodel in D tier, um, they all suck, um, especially Chestnut, Chestnut's one of my least favorite Pokemon, and then, it's just disgusting, after, um, Chespin I put in, B tier also. It had a lot of potential, but it didn't go grow into something cool like it definitely could have. Instead, it grows into one of the worst Pokemon in the series. Um, and then the Torterra is just pretty underwhelming, and Grodel is just really weird. Um, Incineroar, Greninja, Lydon, Charizard, Squirtle, and Charmeleon are in the are in the S tier. You've heard me talk about how much I love all those before. I'm not going to, I'm not going to explain myself again. Um, and Blaziken is close to S tier, but it only gets A tier. It was my starter in um, Alpha Sapphire, which is something that I think you guys probably don't know. So yeah, um, that's this tier list. See you on the next one. Now, next up, we have a Mega Pokemon tier list. Um, now, I did this one a little bit differently than I did the other ones, as you can tell. Um, so, um, I think most of the um, Mega Pokemon are C tier, just simply because they, they they just add too much to the Pokemon where they don't look that cool anymore. Um, but there are a few that either that works really well with, or they just look really cool with the Mega. Um... So, I styled this one a little differently. The ones that I think are just... Or the ones that I think look cool with the Mega are an A tier. The ones that I think are just really cool in the Mega, A plus tier. Or, and the ones in S tier are two Pokemon everybody expected to be in S tier. So, yeah. Also, um, Mega Charizard X and Mega Blaziken are in S tier because... Come on, they're amazing. Do I even need to explain myself? Um, same thing with A plus tier. Mega Gengar, Mega Lucario, Mega Rayquaza are all in A plus tier, which I'm sure you guys would all expect. Um, but also, Mega Charizard Y is in A plus tier. You guys would probably expect Mega Charizard Y to be in C tier. But Mega Charizard Y just didn't add much at all, so it still looks like regular Charizard, which is amazing. So, yeah. Um, and then all the Pokemon in A tier are just cool. Nothing really more than that. Um, 
Though I would like to mention that Mega that Mega Diancy is in F tier because Mega Diancy sucks. So yeah. Um, okay, and then here's the last tier list I did for today. Um, the fourth tier list I was going to do was a, uh, or the four, the next up tier. I'm trying to reserve some Pokemon tier lists. I'm only doing four an episode, and that includes if I have to skip them for whatever reason. Um, the fourth one was a starter final form tier list, and the reason I didn't do it is because you already can just easily figure that out if you just look on this tier list. So. It shouldn't be important, really. So, yeah. Um, but last up, we have a Generation 2 Pokemon tier list. Um, let's start at the bottom and go up. The D tier Pokemon, Unknown, Unknown, um, and Quillfish, um, Corselost on current Dunsparce. I just feel like they're, they're just bland and boring. And they should get evolutions, except for Sunkern, but, yeah. That's all I really had to say about them. Not much, I'm, but, yeah. Um, next up on the tier list, we have the C tier, which is home to a lot of pink Pokemon. Uh, they have a ton of pink Pokemon in Generation 2. I'm not exactly sure why, because it's before the fairy type was introduced, but it's still there, so. Um, we have Cleffa, Igglybuff, Smoochum, Hoot Hoot, Gramble, Murkrow, Snubble, and Miltank. Miltank, it just looks stupid. Um, Cleffa, Igglybuff, and Smoochum just have no need to exist. Um... Hen Hen, Hoot Hoot, Gramble, Murkrow, and Snubble are just annoying in Pokemon Go when I used to play that a lot. So that's why I put them lower tier. Um, B tier is up next. Um, this tier list does have Megas in it, if you can't tell, by the way. Um, one thing I would like to mention is that is that Sunflora is in high B tier. Most people would put Sunflora in D tier. And to be honest, I don't know what makes me like Sunflora. I just like Sunflora. And then also at the top of B tier is is um Mistrevious. Mistrevious. Um I also really like Mistrevious. Not sure why, but Miss Magius is a really cool Pokemon, so yeah. Um A tier is just home to the cool Pokemon that aren't amazing. Um once again, I don't know what it is with me just not knowing why I like some Pokemon in Generation 2. But Politoed, he just looks happy, and I like that. And he's, and he's, for some reason, one of my favorite Pokemon in Generation 2. So, yeah, couldn't explain anything more than that, but still. Um, besides that, you see some pretty general Pokemon in the A tier that... A lot of people would expect to be in there. Um, so, yeah. And then in S tier, we have the whole Totodile line. Scizor, Ampharos, Typhlosion, Umbreon, and ho -Oh. ho -Oh, if I would ever... And most people wouldn't agree with this, but if I were ever to pick a um, Generation a Johto game, I'd always pick... I'd pick the gold one. The gold version or heart gold or... If they make Let's Go Johto games, which I don't see them doing, but they could, and then it could be whatever the gold one is. So, um, yeah, um, and then Umbreon is my second favorite evolution, only under Jolteon, um, and then Vaporeon's number three. I might have said flipped on my Generation 1 video because I know I ranked all, gen or on my first tier list video because I always said yes I said generation one Pokemon and I might have said Vaporeon over Umbreon I don't remember one or the other I I've, I really don't know if Umbreon's over Vaporeon or Vaporeon's over Umbreon but I know Jolteon's number one and Vaporeon or Umbreon is number two so and Typhlosion I used to not like them very much but they've grown on me a lot um, Ampharos is, for, is a great combination of cute and strong, 
and really cool. Um, and I love Ampharos a lot. And if I ever get and next time I play a game, uh, um, a Johto game, Ampharos will be on my team. Um, Scizor, great evolution to Cipher. I don't like how you have to trade to evolve it, but that's the least of my worries. So whatever. And then the entire Feraligatr line, Totodile line, whatever. Um, they're all amazing. Best starter in Johto, by far. So yeah, guys. So if that, this that that was the last tier list for today. So yeah, guys. This video is going to be done. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye bye.